philanthropists, and entrepreneurs. These six individuals are Red Bulletin's first ever Heroes of the Year. I think a hero is someone that just kind of stands up for not only what they believe in, but what others aren't able to do for themselves. But a lot of people that do get injured are extreme athletes, or are athletes in general, that think their life is over, but don't have a release anymore because they think they're stuck in a chair, they're stuck at home, they're stuck doing what the doctor told them they can do. I think it's our personal obligation as individuals, whether you're good at math or art or music or racing or whatever it may be, to invest in yourself, to continue to chase that passion and raise that bar upon yourself because that's how society in general is uplifted all around. Women have never traditionally been called heroes in the same way that women are never known as geniuses or visionaries and that's a term that while it is gender agnostic has been generally reserved for men and so I think it was it was almost a, a shock to be called a hero, even though when I really think about it and started to own up to it, I was like, you know, I can give myself credit. I spend all of my time thinking about how I can impact the world, how I can help more female leaders rise up and the various contradictions in society. And so um, I think the, the work that I'm doing is very much in line with what it means to be a hero. I never had time to react because I've been constantly working, working, working nonstop and Red Bull hits me up and like, hey, I'm doing this. I'm like, I'm there, don't worry, no matter what, anything you need me for, I'll be there. And um, being recognized and honored is cool, not always my thing, unless I feel like I can parlay that into another opportunity to use as a platform to push forward my initiatives. At the end of the day, legacy is defined by everyone else anyway. You can think whatever you want of yourself. And because I was the one on the front lines in Puerto Rico with water filtration systems, solar lanterns, and all these other things, I had other leaders come in up, up to me and say, yo, you're our leader. I was like, whoa. It's, it's an honor, but also it's like, it's hard for me to toot my own horn sometimes or like accept like things like this and um, just trying to come to grips with like, okay, this is like actually really happening and this is now kind of like in a new place of acceptance <laughs> when it comes to these kinds of things. Hero is sacrificial. It's like when somebody sacrifices of oneself for the betterment of others in whatever way that you see that, in whatever shape or form, it comes in varieties. But I think it's like when sacrifice comes into play and like genuine self-sacrifice, I think that's when you put yourself in front of others, you know, in order for, for their betterment or for their good. So I think it's, there's no grand reward when there isn't like a grand risk. And if that risk is of oneself, I think that's like when the hero comes to play. And actually complete a 100 mile race. Um, if they do enough marathons, they can get used to it. So it's just it's just being persistent, it's not giving up, it's being super hard-headed, not quitting, and then and realizing that there there really aren't any any physical limits to um, the body and the mind. Remember, it's only good. Remember, it's only good. Remember, it's only good. Remember, it's only good. Remember,